this is our running ATR. So what we want to do is on all these setups, had a beautiful trade set up here this morning inside the zone on the S&P. Uh, the highest probability trade that you're going to get uh, with our algo is waiting for price to retrace inside of this ATR, running ATR. So you can see um, you have these yellow dots that start printing. Um, the indicator um, will have a, um, a sound that tells you that we are starting to print ATRs. The indicator will also have an alert when you are inside of a zone for a possible buy or sell setup on any market that you trade. And like I said, this does work on all futures, uh, Forex. It works on individual stocks, uh, ETFs, currency, intraday. Uh, if you look at options, OEX options, we have some traders that you do uh, options on it. I mean, whatever you want to do, it works on, it's pretty much uh, can go across the board on any type of market you look at. The key is, is when it turns green, yellow to green, you're in a running ATR up. So once you start moving up, we're going to look for a simple retracement inside of this buy zone. It may come right down and touch it, and it may just come right inside of it at this level. Once you get inside the buy zone, you, you have to, uh, I mean, before it gets in the buy zone, we need these speed bars to print. It's not just an ATR. ATR is not the, um, not the special ingredient with this algo. The special sauce in this algo is these speed bars, okay? They're called volume spikes. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to catch the counter trend traders against overall trend to look for retracements for continuations. So how we do that is we have to pick our spots in the market. First, we have to identify the trend. Our ATR will automatically do that for us. It tells us if we're trend up is green, trend down is red, so we don't counter trend trade the market. Two, we need the speed bars to print opposite color a trend. So if my green, if my green ATR dots are, are printing, I want to see when these red speed bars or what I call or what are volume spikes, where they're really hitting the bid really hard. Okay? So they're 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 really, I'm sorry, um hitting the market really hard in the market. There's a lot of speed in the market. And then what's going to happen is, is you're going to get a lot of counter trend traders hitting the bid. They think the market's downtrending, and you get these big giant reversals. So what these speed bars do right here, these red speed bars against overall trend, what they do is they tell you when a possible reversal is in going to happen. And once that occurs, um, you get inside the zone, you get a possible reversal. Now, there's... On the strategy that we're going to be getting out to all you guys and gals is that um, you, there's a couple filters that we, we, we use. A one, let's go with a filter below, an oscillator. So if you look at this magenta oscillator, this is a 20 and uh, 20 oscillator you can use. Now you can adjust this to your liking, but to pull yourself in after getting inside the zone a couple ways. You can use the oscillator to go back above 20% to pull yourself in right there at this level on this uh, entry for a pull-in bar. So your entry would be this bar, one of these two bars right there for entry. Your stop loss is always outside the zone. So there's your stop loss outside the zone. So you can use that as a filter. For example, right now we're inside the zone right now. But if you notice, our oscillator is way below 20%. So what we like to do is if it closes outside of the zone, then we don't have a setup. And we had a close outside the zone right here. So if you have a close outside the zone and this oscillator does not go above for momentum to the upside, this S&P, the buy was what, 56 and a, a 66 and a quarter. Your potential was all the way up to 80. So we had 14 S&P points to the upside with a very small stop. 14 S&P point potential already on this last trade with a small S&P point stop based upon this oscillator pulling us in at, these, at this pull-in bar. The second way you can do it, if you want to do it, um, and this is totally up to you how you want to pull yourself in, uh, we have market delta, 
built into these sim Rinko bars. We have our own Rinko bar that we built. And this Rinko bar, once it turns positive market delta, you'll see these bars turn green or red. So you can enter at the close once you get inside the zone of a positive market delta. So after that closes positive market delta at that level, then what you can do is you can enter the, uh, the market and your stop is right below the two ticks below the swing low again. That's your second way you can enter. The third way you can enter, which traders are doing, is that you can use a limit order. A limit order, if you're going to do it, what I like to do and what the strategy will do is it will put a limit, it'll split the difference between the ATRs. So I got my ATR here, my upper ATR, my lower ATR, it's going to put a limit in the middle of the ATR. So that's where the strategy is going to fill. The reason you can do this is this system is very, very accurate. You guys have seen how accurate it is is that what we can do is we can have a small stop of just 8 to 10 ticks, depending on how you guys are getting filled, below the market on a limit order. So you can do limits also. By doing limits, you're not getting confirmation that you're getting a turn. Because one, if you use a positive market delta, you never got in this trade over here because we never got a positive green bar until it closed below. Two, we never got above 20%. So that would not get you in either. The limit would get you in, but if your stop is small, you'd still be in the trade to hold the trade unless you want to tag out at a very small stop. So you would be in at that level. I'll split the difference on the ATR. You can elect to hold it because the 10 ticks is still below price action right now. Or if it closes one, close below, you can just elect to pull yourself out. It's up to you. So those are the three ways you can really pull yourself in inside these zones. Okay, and these zones are very, 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 very accurate. We can see that we have price action this morning. Let's say a zone is higher. Uh, let's say we get a, yesterday at the close, we had some, a really good price action that was up. Big ATR up. You do the same thing here. If you're going to get a, a buy at this level, this is last, last night after it opened at 6 o'clock at night, but there's your positive market delta. Okay, that's where you get in. Your stop loss would be two ticks below the swing low. It's the same scenario. The best trades will be inside the zone, but as long as you're with ATR trend, that's where you want to position yourself. Here's another beautiful trade right here. There's a positive market delta, and it caught the swing low. And these are not small trades, guys. These are these are pretty pretty massive trades. I and mean, we're talking right there, 34 all the way to 54, 20 S and P points. Potential just in the swing with a small stop. And then here's another one. Then we come, this is these are the ones I really like. They really line up. These are where they line up. It gets it, it hits my zone. Now remember, I can use I can if I use just a limit order scenario, you're not going to get filled on the limit because it's taking the split on the strategy that you're, you'll be getting. It will get all the positive market delts and negative market delts. It's going to get you on every single trade. So there's your positive market delta. That's a doji also. I love dojis at the inside the zone with a speed bar, opposite color speed bar. So there's your entry here using a positive market delta with a small stop. And then here, if you look, when we get above 20%, it just gives you confirmation price action is rolling upward. If you're more of a momentum trader, you like scalping the market or actually getting in with confirmation, then you, you're rolling to the upside there. So you can see that once this ATR starts printing, you got several opportunities to get inside this market. There's your buy in the zone. There's your continuation, catching the rolling position traders. And there you're catching the rolling position traders also. If I'm looking for a sell then, let's find a sell. If I'm looking for a sell, what I want to do is I want to look for the opposite color speed bar. So right here, we want to look for green speed bars here hit the top of my zone. Remember, it's got to be two candles outside my zone to nullify a trade. That's one candle. We're good to go. Here, caught the swing. So you can see that you could use the opposite for sells when you're trying to get into, and then there's your buys. But sells, the best also is inside of your speed bar. Buys are right here. Buys are right inside the zone, I'm sorry. The key is why this system works so well. You're not going to find this indicator anywhere in the world. I programmed this specifically. This is a proprietary indicator. 
I took this off of no one. Um, how I learned about this price action was a, a market profile and Peter Stoudemire really got me in this direction. Uh, really a lot of help from Larry Williams and also uh, 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 Tom DeMarc. Those are my three top traders I learned a lot of. So I really use a lot of stuff that I learned from those three top traders and, and that I feel are the top traders in the world over the last 30 years. And I come up with these these speed bars, these volume spikes. Um, you know, Peter Stoudemire, who came up with Market Profile, he really liked volume spikes on turning points. So, and I programmed them so we can visually see when we're catching the wrongly positioned traders. So when you get inside of these levels, you see the market react. And when they don't, we have a very small stop. 